Good morning, sisters and brothers. I'm joined by our friend, the Reverend Steinbrenner here. Now, Tuesday Tune-Up is, well, it's a wonderful vehicle for us to do some teaching and some instruction, uh, but also it's a, it's a way for us to reach out. And you are part of this as well, because you're not just watchers of this. You're not an audience, you are participants, because we wanna know what you're thinking. We wanna see in the comments what you took from this, what you might have questions about, uh, or, as in the case with this morning, what you might want to know about a different topic. So today we're going to talk about spiritual direction, and the reason we're going to do that is because in the comments to a previous Tuesday tune-up, somebody said, hey, it would be really nice if you would talk about spiritual direction at some point in one of your Tuesday tune-ups. And since we aim to please in all things, we are clergy after all, uh, this morning's topic is going to be spiritual direction. So uh, we're just going to kind of bounce this back and forth a little bit. Uh, Peter and I both uh, individually are, are experienced in spiritual direction as participants. And well, Reverend, you are much more recently ordained. In fact, that collar looks yeah. really bright and shiny. Mine's old and gray. That one's gleaming white. Uh, I'm assuming because you have been through the formation process that you might have had more re recent experience in this. So let me ask you, help our, our, uh, our congregation and our watchers know what is spiritual direction? Sure. Uh, spiritual direction is really, you find a, a director and both Rick and I have a spiritual director, and that person will sit down with us and listen intently as we tell our story or a story, and then helps us find God in that story. And really the intent is to, is to help someone experience the presence of God in their daily life, and also in their stories as they recall their past experiences. Where was God in those experiences? Uh, one of the one of the visions that I, I I like is when we sit down with somebody or I'm sitting down with my spiritual director. There's like another chair in the room, and that chair is the Holy Spirit who is there with us. And so when when we are meeting, the Holy Spirit is there all the time, and we're trying to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying to us. Yeah, it's it's an intentional conversation, and the intent of it is to to help the person the directee, if you will, see those God moments in their lives. We all get very caught up in our own story, our own experiences. We kind of live in this little bubble around our head, uh, and yet we don't live there alone as much as we might think that we do. God is always with us, but we tend sometimes to have a hard time seeing God, and uh, the spiritual director can be that, that sort of dispassionate observer who hears our story and kind of sends us back into that story to identify those places where God was acting that we didn't really notice in the first place. That sort of makes some sense? It does. I, I, I could still remember the very first story that we went back and talked to was on a time when I thought that I was, there was no God. It was before I really had much faith. And we were talking about that story and he says, where was God? And I said, that, that voice, I think that voice must have been God. Mm. And that voice can come from some kind of a dream or it can come from somebody else talking to you. Right. So it was, uh, you start to learn to, to recognize when God is working in your life. That's a good way to put it. I mean, God is always there and God is always working. Our challenge sometimes is being able to recognize that. Yes. Yeah. So that's, I guess that's a good working definition for spiritual direction, but I, I think there's also the potential for people to get confused or, or there to be misunderstandings. Let me ask you this then, what is spiritual direction not about? Well, maybe, maybe I'll start by saying what you can expect, what a session is like. Typically, in the session, the spiritual directee talks 90% of the time. The spiritual director listens well over 90% of the time. And in, in my cases, I find that as a directee, I probably talk 
58 minutes out of the 60 minutes, and that's typical. It's uh, So really, a spiritual director is a great listener, an intense listener, listening to your story, connecting with you with that sport story, wanting to share that experience with you of the Holy Spirit in your life. Uh, it's similar to counseling, but it's very, very, also very, very different. It's similar in that the listening is similar. Uh, where it's different is counseling tends to try to diagnose some kind of a problem and then fix it. Spiritual directors don't fix it. They want you to be connected with the Holy Spirit, with God, and then you and God work it out together. Where is God taking you? It's not the spiritual director's uh, responsibility to fix it for you. In fact, he should not fix it for you. Mm. So that, that's really where uh, I say counseling and spiritual direction is, is different. Yeah, it's almost, the, the title can be off-putting in some ways because a spiritual director would sort of give you the impression that that person is going to give you orders. This is what you should do. This is what you will do. You must do this. And that's the farthest thing apart from a good spiritual director. He's more like a, or he or she. In fact, I should point out that the great majority of spiritual directors are women. Mine, mine is. Probably 90%. Uh, but the spiritual director is more like a facilitator. Mm. It, it does almost no, it actually almost does no directing. The uh, spiritual director will pray with you, will stay silent with you, will listen with you. But the intent is, is to share that experience of the Holy Spirit with you. Yeah. And it is a, uh, it's a humbling time. Uh, I find myself, you need to develop a comfort level with your spiritual director. But when you have that, uh, it, it is a time for complete honesty, complete humility, uh, recognition of where you've been right and recognition of where you've been wrong. And sometimes when you think you're in the right, the director will ask some questions of you. And in thinking them through and in working them through, sometimes aloud, you might find yourself realizing that, oh, I wasn't right all along. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. What do I do with that? And the director is there to help you sort of recognize what God wants of you and to pray with you through it. So there, there is real benefit to it from a, a spiritual perspective, not to be put too fine a point on it. Yeah, I think uh, something to keep in mind, too, a spiritual director will never judge you. Mm. That's not the role of a spiritual director. It, the spiritual director will just listen and will help facilitate your discussions and probably and help you try to decide what would God have you do or where is God in your life, where is God leading you, but the spiritual director will not judge you. Right. So then uh, I, I guess the next logical question from my perspective is who... Who would benefit from being in spiritual direction? Is this something that absolutely everybody in the world uh, could or should do? Or is this just for certain people at certain points in their lives? Well, that's, that's kind of a hard question to answer. I think um, anybody that would like to uh, uh, become closer or be able to experience the Holy Spirit more closely in their lives or if they have certain questions about things that have happened to them in the past and they want to understand where God is, if they want somebody to help them uh, travel that journey together, uh, then I think a spiritual director would be very helpful. I tell you, that the other thing is, if you just want somebody to listen intently about your journey and be with you during, on that journey, I think that's a spiritual director is a good person. If you want somebody to fix your problem, then I don't think spiritual directors are who you want to go to. You want to go to a counselor right? in that case. Uh, who should be? I uh, think almost all priests during formation, like what I just went through. Uh, I think most of them uh, end up with a spiritual director. Um, in fact, it's actually a requirement in this diocese that yes. anybody who's going through the ordination process be in spiritual direction. 
It, uh, I mean, literally, it scared me to do it. I don't think I was somewhat reluctant to do it. And, and we're not alone. And I am so thankful that I have a spiritual director. It's been amazing. So, yeah. It isn't quite what I thought it would be going into it. I've had, I'll be candid, I've had some good and some not so good experiences in spiritual direction. So the the real challenge is to find the right person that, that sort of gels with you. And that doesn't mean somebody that, you know, you like or who thinks the way you do. Uh, it just means that it's somebody that you can establish a bond with. And because you're going to get asked some hard yeah. questions sometimes. Uh, spiritual direction is constantly forcing you to look back inward at that story that you've shared. And sometimes where you find God in those stories is a little not so great. Um, so having someone that you can trust and have a, a, a comfortable relationship with is is really paramount. Um, and But that's the kind of thing that you sort of do as time goes on. You build up a relationship over a period of months and even years. Yes. All right. Final word? I think uh, if anybody has an interest in spiritual direction, just contact Rick or myself and uh, we can help you find someone. Yeah. We are, we are good matchmakers that way. Yeah. All right. Thank you, friends. If you have... Uh, comments on this, put them in the comment section, or if you have suggestions for other topics you might like us to tackle on our Tuesday tune-up. Remember, we have 52 of these every year, so we're always looking for your suggestions for content. All right, thank you. Peace be with you. Have a great rest of your week.